According to the VI code, parents or guardians are required to send children between the ages of 5 and 18 to school regularly or educate them at home. For Mike Williams, homeschooling was their best option. Basically, my, my wife and I uh, work out of our house, so it was, it was convenient. And it's an option more parents are considering. Locally, Dr. Sarah Mayhurt says the numbers are increasing with about 60 children in the territory now being homeschooled. But it's not easy. A lot of parents are spending six hours a day doing uh, homeschool activities, so it is, it is a considerable time commitment for the parent. It's just a matter of a parent's option and a parent's choice that they have decided to take full responsibility for their child's education. And there are a few protocols you need to follow if you're considering a homeschool education, like filling out a notice of intent form. The number one thing that needs to be done is they have to file a notice of intent that they are doing a home instruction program so that we're not looking for that child in the public school and they are not being considered truant. So uh, that, that's an important piece. The Department of Education says that form must be filed within 10 days of the start of your homeschool program. And we're also finding out that other jurisdictions, if someone leaves the Virgin Islands, we do get phone calls to find out if a child was being homeschooled according to the law in the Virgin Islands when they go to enroll in other school systems in other states as well. William says homeschooling is not easy, but it's an option he recommends for certain parents. If you are a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad, okay, and you feel relatively confident that you can help them with a certain amount of things. For those parents, William says it's a great option. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.